Puddles is a story about a uh, imaginative little boy named Noah who discovers that the puddles outside of his house are uh, portals to a magical world. Um, and he's really excited to share that story with his sister, um, but he can't seem to get her off of her cell phone. The uh, original inspiration for the story came from my nephew Noah. Um, he was he's my first nephew, first kid I really uh, got to experience the wonder of the world through. And he's an incredibly imaginative kid and so watching him play with his toys or outside it always felt like he saw more magic in the world than was otherwise there. Um, and I just thought that was such a refreshing idea in, in the world that we live in where people don't take the time to, to look at the magic in the world around them and every day he saw more than that and so I really wanted to make a story about a character who, who experienced this, this magic in the world. As head of animation, you interact with a lot of departments. You, um, you're there from the creation of the characters all the way into lighting. Um, but my experience was kind of kept to that kind of middle portion of, of the process. Um, and even though you're interacting with the heads of other departments, you don't necessarily know what the artist's day-to-day -day is and the challenge that they face in order to create these beautiful images that they create. So in directing, you really get in there with them and you see what challenges they're up against. You understand the notes that they're, that they're having. Uh, you understand the, the relationships between departments and what artists need from one another. Um, and so the cool thing about the short circuit program is it allows you to have that full context of the entire uh, creation of our films and so when you're done with your film and you go back to your your day job you have that that broader context to how our pipeline works and what what communication is necessary and it makes you way better at your job but also allows you to to make the normal filmmaking process on our feature films that much better as my first time directing, you, uh, you quickly realize how much communication is necessary in order to guide the ship because you have so many people, 50 people, um, all working on one vision that's in your head and not theirs. And so you're trying to get everybody on the same wavelength, marching in the same direction, making the same stylistic decisions. Um, and so that was the big surprise to me is it's so clear in my brain um, and so making sure that everybody else has the same idea in theirs uh, was, was really, it was a, it's, a fun, it's a fun challenge, um, but you also get these amazing nuggets when you go through that process of other people's visions and other people's ideas, and that's actually what makes these, these films that much better, is when people start layering on their perspectives. Um, and I think that too was a surprise that that layering of everyone's perspectives made the entire film that much better. That's a huge part of the short circuit program is the limitations that they put on the filmmakers in, in, in time and resources forces you to, to innovate uh, artistically or technically uh, in process or in communication style. Um, on Puddles specifically, we did a lot of innovation on the creation of the puddles and how we could make that handcrafted look. Um, we also experimented with using previs as opposed to storyboards. We didn't have storyboards for Puddles. Um, I, animated little cube characters and built the set myself, which accelerated the process and kind of got us into layout a lot faster. Um, and then as far as the look of picture, we also experimented with um, project, projecting paintings onto the environment so that we didn't have to go through our normal look process of detailing everything out. We could get a very unique stylized look um, at a much more efficient uh, through a much more efficient process, which allowed for us to create the puddle world in, in the film. I think the coolest thing for audience members is the variety of perspectives that Short Circuit brings. Because each Short Circuit is so specific to the filmmaker, you really get these kind of spikes in human perspective on the world. Um, around sometimes mundane things like getting a haircut or jumping in a puddle. Um, you really get to see the imagination and, and the, the wonder that each individual artist views the world through, which hopefully will allow audience members to start looking at the world around them differently.